Welcome to Pro Tips. Hi, I'm Dean Wedekin with MaxiLift and another in our series of Pro Tips on bucket elevator inspections. I recently had a customer contact me and say they're having a problem with their belt monitor system going off too often. And of course, that may not be the problem of the belt monitor system. Now, first of all, what is that belt monitor system? You're gonna have two sensors at the head and two sensors at the boot. They'll tell you if the belt is moving back and forth, which could cause damage to the belt, damage to the buckets, and damage to your bucket elevator as well. So, let's take a look at a few photos of what I found when we got out to the facility. First of all, you'll notice in this photo here that we've got some uh, very narrow belt in comparison to the width of the buckets. These are 10 by 7 maxi lift buckets, old style buckets that haven't been made since the 90s. And at 10 by 7 buckets, that means that two buckets side by side are going to be 21 inches wide. The belt was actually 21 and a half inches wide, so there wasn't much room in there. Also, the spacing between the buckets is 12 and a half inches. My first thought, and of course I'd like to show you here, is that we could take some HD Max buckets, put them at 9 inch spacings, one row of HD Max buckets, and get the same capacity. So that was my first thought. But there were a few other things that I found out as I looked further in this bucket elevator situation. Let's go back to the photos. Next you'll see a photo that shows the bucket that the head section rubbing on the side and you can see then that it's extremely close to the side of the trunking. So everything in this bucket elevator is very tight. Here's a photo that shows the head pulley. This happens to be a cast iron head pulley. You can see the spoke inside there. And not only that, but the cast iron pulley close to the side is using belt lagging. And then you can see the belt that the bucket is attached to. Now my concern here is that that belt lagging on the cast iron pulley probably is not static conductive, oil resistant, and flame retardant. It would be good to have the entire pulley replaced out with better lagging. We're gonna talk about more of that in another pro tip in the future. But I made sure and checked things in this situation like the motor horsepower, the speed reducer, the chain final drive to know that we could get the same capacity that they needed by changing out those buckets. But in this safe case, the, the belt monitor system definitely was not the problem. We need to narrow everything down and we can do that. And we can get the same capacity of what they need by going with a different bucket and belt situation and replace the head pulley as well and make it safer. There's going to be a lot more you can find out in this series on pro tips of bucket elevator inspections. You can go to MaxiLift.com to see all of them or go to YouTube and do a search for MaxiLift INC. I'm Dean Wedekin for MaxiLift and Pro Tips.